There are some 180 portal tombs in Ireland, and Palinabrone in County Clare is seen by many as the classic example of this form of megalithic tomb. Palinabrone sits on a limestone plateau in the Burren, a name that derives from the Irish word Burren, meaning a rocky place. It comprises a stone chamber with a pair of stones at the north end forming an entrance or portal, hence the term portal tomb. These portal stones are tall so that the large capstone is raised high above the entrance and falls gradually towards the rear of the chamber. This landscape of terraced hillsides and plateau of bare rock has its origins in the Carboniferous period over 300 million years ago. Now standing high above the surrounding countryside, it was formed in the warm, shallow seas of the Carboniferous Ocean. It emerged from the seabed over 50 million years ago, and a layer of shale that shielded the limestone for millions of years was eventually removed during the last Great Ice Age. Today the tomb appears to be growing out of the rock, as if it is in tune with the landscape around it. However, when the tomb was originally constructed, the environment here looked quite different. Pollen studies have shown that the area was densely forested with oak and hazel at the time the tomb was constructed during the Neolithic. The tomb sits on the exposed limestone pavement, but we know that there was about 25 centimetres of soil cover over the rock at the time it was constructed. When the first farmers began to clear the woodland to create their fields nearly 6,000 years ago, this contributed to the large-scale erosion of the soil that has taken place across the burn over the intervening millennia. Despite this dramatic erosion of the overlying topsoil, when it was excavated in the 1980s, archaeological remains were still preserved within a thin layer of soil inside the chamber and the fissures within the underlying limestone bedrock. The excavations found the remains of at least 35 individuals buried within the chamber. These represented both male and female, as well as a wide range of age groups. The excavations also uncovered shards of pottery, stone tools, including a polished stone axe head, as well as bone and stone beads and pendants that were probably deposited in the tomb as grave goods with the deceased. Radiocarbon dating suggests that the tomb was built around 5,800 years ago and continued to be used as a place of burial for around 600 years. Among the oldest monuments known in the burn, Pound the Brown has become symbolic of one of the richest archaeological landscapes in the country. And across the world, this remarkable megalithic tomb is an iconic image of early prehistoric Ireland. Pound the Brown is a national monument in state care since 1985 and is managed by the Office of Public Works.